Hello everybody, this is Tim here, here another review, this time for Dune 2, which I know has actually been out for a while, but I finally got around to watching it, and I gotta say I really enjoyed it. From 1 to 4 stars, I'd give it a 4 out of 4. I felt, I felt like this film was a masterpiece of a movie. Um, I didn't love the film, not because I had anything really against the film. I do have some minor problems with it, but I didn't love it only because, um, honestly, it's just not 100% for me. I don't think either one of these Dune films are. I really enjoy them, and I think, how do you pronounce his name? Denis Villeneuve, or Villeneuve, uh, the director, is probably uh, the best director we have working today in science fiction. I loved Blade Runner 2049, I believe that's what it was, or, or 2048, maybe. It's been a while since I've seen it, I'll be honest, but I remember loving that one, legitimately loving that one, the Blade Runner sequel. I don't like either one of these Dune movies as much, even though I think this movie Dune 2 is just as good, if not maybe maybe even slightly better than that Blade Runner movie. Uh, but it's n I don't connect as much to the characters in either of these Dune films as I did the Blade Runner movie with Ryan Gosling's character. I just I just don't feel it as much. Um, so I'm able to ha I was able to like just have more personal investment in that movie than I am with these Dune movies. But I will have to say, Bob, I mean, but I will say, Dune one, yeah, I gave it a four out of four. I thought it was awesome. This one, another four out of four. It's even better than the first one, in my opinion. This is a masterpiece level film. Um, great shots with the desert and everything. And you got Timothy Chalamet back, uh, who's also in Wonka and Dune one, of course. He does a great job here as well. I believe the actor's name is Asia Butterfield, maybe, uh, who plays like the crazy dude in this with the shaved head and the no eyebrows. He also played Elvis. In the movie, the Elvis movie, he wasn't that great. He was good. He was fine, but he wasn't anything mind-blowing. Here, he's really good. He's much better, he's much better at playing like this creepy cannibal like nut job character. Uh, Stellan Skarsgård is back here as the big fat dude. Well, not, uh, yeah, Stellan, I'm Stellan Skarsgård. Uh, is back as the big 300 pound obese dude or whatever who was a villain in the last one it's kind of cool to see him back josh brolin comes back in this one i know these are based off books i haven't read the books i know a little bit about them i know that uh the director plans on adapting at least like the main series books and doesn't really want to do the later book because supposedly they're not that great i've heard uh I, I have heard that the later books are not very good i don't know for sure i've never read them so i can't say uh but yeah um uh, but yeah, you got Josh Brolin back here. Uh, so I'm just judging this more as a movie. You got Josh Brolin back, which is cool to have him back here. If he was in the last movie, he doesn't really do a whole lot though, but he's here. Um, Stellan Skarsgård gets killed at the end by Timothy Chalamet's character, which I thought was pretty cool. Through most of the movie, it's pretty much Timothy Chalamet, uh, like, uh, not wanting to be, like, the uh, Messiah dude or whatever for these people, including, like, having a, a relationship with the Zendaya character. Uh, and they have, they have some, they have, their romance is cliche, like the whole, you know, young love thing, but at the same time, it's well acted, so it made me invested in it, and I like Zendaya's character and how she, like, doesn't buy into, like, all the bullshit of him being, like, the messiah for these people and everything and then by the end of the movie he accepts it and goes to get revenge on still in Skarsgård uh Christopher Walken in the movie is like the emperor or whatever it was cool to have him here I believe he was the emperor he's like the ruler of everybody uh it was cool to have him here but he doesn't really get to do a whole lot but when he is on the screen he does do a good job um you got Florence Pugh playing his daughter and once again she doesn't really do much of anything either you get to the end of the movie and uh, of course uh, Asia Butterfield which I was once again I believe his actor's name has to have a fight with Timothy Chalamet really good fight um good action Batista is in the movie, and he doesn't really do a whole lot. His character's just kind of a bitch, <laughs> which is part of his character. But at the same time, he really doesn't do a whole lot in the movie, but he does do a good job in it, uh, Batista does acting-wise. And to the end of the movie, Timothy Chalamet wins the fight against Asia Butterfield. It's a, it's a pretty good fight with some good martial arts moves. And uh, he wants to, like, marry Florence Pugh to, like, uh, become royalty or whatever to, like, let, rule over the land. And then Zendaya's like, ah, this is bullshit. I don't like this. Because she never really wanted him to, like, become, like, this whole messiah figure and all that. And, of course, she doesn't want to be the side chick in this relationship. So she walks off. And uh, the movie ends with her, like, getting ready to ride the worm herself. And I will say, overall, this film is a bit too long. They could have gotten more to the meat of the story and the heart of it faster. But it is uh, really well acted, and the action scenes that we do get in it are really cool. And this movie has much more action than the first film. It is; It does feel faster paced and less slow than that first movie, maybe because there's more going on in it. Uh, but overall, by the end of this, I left uh, the movie going, yeah, I really want to see what happens next. So yeah, overall, it's a 4 out of 4 film. It's not a perfect film. Like I said, it is a bit too long. Uh, some actors are underused, and some just don't get enough to Well, yeah, that goes for underused. I was about to say some don't get enough to do like Batista. But once again, he's fine in his role. Overall, it's a 4 out of 4. This is a better film uh, than that first one, and I do recommend it. 
I do think this is a masterpiece level film. I don't love the film though personally just because I'm not as invested in these characters as I was like characters like in Blade Runner 2049. But overall, I, this is still easily a 4 out of 4 and easily one of the, the, the best science fiction films we've had in years. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again.